Great to have you joining us, Holly. And now joining us, switching from mainstream songwriting to songs for kids, won her a New Zealand Best Children's Song Award in 2013 for If I Was a Fuzzy Bumblebee. Now, after setting a weekly writing challenge, she has a full-length children's album and a nationwide tour about to get underway. Would you please welcome to the cafe the extremely talented Chanel Davis. Yay! Great to have you, Chanel. Thanks for having me. Now, look, you, um, you've been, uh, you know, writing a lot of mainstream songs, but you've also decided now to embark on doing a lot of children's stuff. Yeah. Um, what made you get into writing songs for children? Um, basically winning that award. Right. That was one of my first ones, if I was a fuzzy, buzzy bumblebee, and everyone loved it, so I was like, wow, I should write some more. So how did you come that's up what with, I did. How did you come up with fuzzy, buzzy bumblebee? Um, I just sitting was thinking about what would be like to be different to be different kind of animals right. and, you know, like when you're writing songs for kids, you can really go anywhere, you know, yeah. in your imagination. Which will be but, fun. Yeah, yeah it's really <laughs> fun. But we have to mention that you've done a lot of work on your songwriting because you actually went over to Nashville and spent some time with someone who's well known yeah. in the songwriting industry, yeah? Yeah, so I spent some time with Pat Patterson, so he's like a songwriting guru, he's taught John Mayer and Gillian Welch, lots of people, so I was really lucky to spend time with him. and. So my songwriting writing went from kind of here to here. Really quick. Right. Yeah. yeah, really quickly. And um, just through also writing a lot. So I do write a lot. Well, speaking of the writing a lot, you set yourself the Song Sunday Challenge. Tell us more about that. What was that involving? Um, I set a challenge to put a song up on YouTube every Sunday for a whole year. No way. <laughs> Try and inspire my friend because she didn't want to put like one video up. So I was like, right, let's just set a game for ourselves. And she did something like 10 videos. And somehow I set a year. And then regretted it. <laughs> <laughs> and so that was my, yeah, Sundays for a year or the week was putting out this video. So they're all on YouTube and it was just amazing. Like what I, I just grew so much from doing it. And yeah. there's some bad songs and there's some awesome songs and, but a lot of kids songs, which, um. But that's how the here. album turned up. Yeah. So is that pretty much what happened? You thought, well, I've written a song every Sunday. Yeah. I'm going to take the best of them, put them together for an album. Yeah, there's just, I don't know, there's so many cool kids songs and also like friends of mine, like Daniel Munro writing cool kids songs too and I just thought they deserve to be out so um yeah put them out on an album oh and look I've got to show everybody this because not only do you get this album but there's something very cool that happens here you ready look at this oh, oh. the turtle swings it's so cool <laughs> little green turtle <laughs> that's gorgeous isn't that the cutest it is very and you're cute. gonna go on tour now I am going on the album party tour great so what does that involve a lot of singing and a lot of dancing, I'm guessing. And cake. And cake! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Perfect. Pretty much just throwing parties to celebrate this awesome album being done. And yeah, I'm going everywhere from Whangarei right down to uh, Invercargill. And Gore, your hometown. My hometown, <laughs> One Gore. of my favourite places, That's my last too. scene, Chanel, actually, yeah. hanging out at the Thomas Green. <laughs> oh, is it harder to entertain kids than it is adults? Um, I think you have to be more fit, so... You know, with adults' music, usually I'm having a wine and sitting behind the piano, <laughs> just chilling out. Uh, with kids, I'm actually, you know, burning some dancing. calories yes. and really interactive, but I love it. You'd have to have that energy up the whole time with kids, because as yeah. soon as they start waning, they're like, OK, I'm bored now, you know? Yeah. It's like... The first time I got really puffed, I was like, right, I'm going to go to the gym and get my fitness up <laughs> so I can do it. So. Now, I know you're still writing proper songs. Um, <laughs> what? Well, you know what I mean, like songs for adults. So what do you prefer? Adults would love that too. You reckon? Definitely. Okay, cool. Should I'll I give put you it a cop in? Yeah, yeah give on the way home. Take home. I wanted to make an album that's not just for kids, you know, it's families. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll so a lot that. of real musicians on there and, you know, just it's... Um, who, el who else is on here? Um, we've got Daniel Monroe. Yep. So he's got songs like Pookie Goes in the Park, really great. And um, also Marion Burns. You oh, might yes, know. yes. So, yeah, yeah, the it up yeah, all yeah. over the shop. Oh, brilliant. So it's really energetic and fun. And my mum said it's better than Ed Sheeran. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Janelle. She rang me up. She just wasted $20 on Ed Sheeran. Yours is better. So. Oh, that is great. Oh, well, look, enjoy the tour. And you're going to sing for us a little later in the show as well. Yeah. So you don't want to miss that. All right, if you'd like to go along and see Chanel and Friends album party tour with cake, check out the website chanelandfriends.com.